Okay, so what do you mean? Let's kick okay. start this particular episode. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Like, share, subscribe. I've got to be Robin Singh now. You know, the guy needs no introduction, but I would just like to sum up with everything that he's done. Ace footballer, Indian football star, and now also an ace commentator and an expert. Catch him live at the Asian Games. He's covering it uh, on Sony Sports Network. Hey, Robin, what's up? Thank you for that lovely, lovely introduction. Uh, doing well, preparing for the games ahead. Uh, looking forward to the women's game, to be honest. You know, as much as there's men's football, uh, women as well, they're doing really well. You know, some of the names that come to my head, uh, Manisha, Dalima, uh, Bala Devi coming back after an injury, I think. That story for me stands out. Four years in the making, ACL is never, never easy to come back from and a lot of people don't say this enough but it's a mental battle. I've gone through it myself. Um, mental health is something that needs to be looked upon and she's done a commendable job. Four years to make it back to the national team is... I can only imagine the kind of questions she's answered to herself by herself to make it there. Yeah. Um, well, this, this, in this, of course, we talk about that, but in this episode, we're actually kind of uh, reviewing India's performance against China and, of course, India's football journey. So, first of all, your take mm -hmm. of the game. I, uh, I know you were an expert also commentating on the game, so tell me. I think, uh, you know, lack of preparation has been spoken about a fair amount, and that that is true. Uh, you when you're going to the Asian Games, it's one of the biggest tournaments or you know festivals of sport in Asia. Uh, there needs to be some sort of preparation for it. Uh, that being said, I always believe as an athlete, once you step onto that pitch, you leave everything on the side, on the byline or across that white line. And they did. They played very well. They worked hard. Uh, China mounted the early pressure. We sustained it. We conceded. But then I think. The fatigue kicked in, the long journey, uh, not being prepared enough, even hydration because we saw a few cramps coming in as well. I, I personally looked at the weather as well yesterday. It was the same as India. But during a journey, you know, we've all, we're all people who've traveled, we know, you know that that hydration is something that you need to be relaxed for uh, lying down, recovering. And it wasn't the case with India. So, yeah, but then take nothing away. I think there were standout performances in that game. Rahul KP's goal was brilliant. Gurmeet gave the penalty away, saved the penalty away. And uh, a little note that I wrote yesterday is when he gave that penalty away, I wrote down the minute and I wrote down penalty, but I didn't finish the sentence because I knew he would make the save. And he not only made my prediction come true, but very proud of him for that performance yesterday. He's one of the younger keepers in the lot and he's done very well last night. I know what to say, but if you had to define that goal by Rahul KP and what would it have meant to him in the Asian Games against a team like China? I think uh, Rahul KP is somebody who's who's very energetic, who's very confident with his abilities. He's he's a friend of mine as well. Um, he knows what he brings to the table, and last night showed that you know we the little thing, things that I noticed is when he looked to see who was in the box. And the keeper thought as well that this is not an angle he's going to take a shot from. And the keeper tried to make the early judgment by going in, trying to stop the cross. But KP being KP just went for goal and it went in and a brilliant goal at that. I think that was sort of a wake up. India team started well in the second half as well, but lack of preparation and fatigue kicked in by the 60th minute. Yeah, by the fifth goal, I just thought that, you know, that, that was like a nail in the coffin. I mean... Um, that just gave away about how we were not dominating the field at all, not even defending. But anyway, let's just talk about India's journey in football in the last 10 years, including ISL. How has it changed the game? I think ISL has played its part to change the game. You see a lot of uh, young, confident players coming up now. The likes of Rahul KP, as we mentioned, there's Dheeraj who's doing well. Gurmeet now at Hyderabad is playing well. Uh, Sahal, Anirudh Thapa, you know, mainstays of Indian football now that gets spoken about a lot. Uh, Brandon as well, Brandon Fernandez from FC Goa. He's he's so all of these names across 10 years have built their mark in Indian football. Uh, whereas the national team is concerned, we've broken in, we've broken into the top hundred, you know, from a team that respectfully was known as a team that participates. Now we are a team that even opposition coaches are 
doing their homework on knowing that we are here to win games with Igor Stimak's appointment in the previous years 400 minutes without conceding a goal 11 games unbeaten champions of the previous four tournaments that we played in i think numbers speak for itself yeah we have seen seen confident growth the under 23 team last night if it wasn't for being tired i think we did a good job and if you keep the same system it always works transition takes time but now we're we're reaping the benefits of that transition and the patience that the country the fans and the associations have shown on coaches and the national team as well yeah i was actually going to ask you you know how has the management changed against igor stimak but i think you answered that question for me but you know considering the fact that he's not gotten as much time as he would have liked with the boys were playing at the asian games and with isl putting foot putting their foot down with the kind of requirements they have how do you see the dispute between the two federations i think uh, that's a dispute oh, that's meant for the high yeah. yeah so from a broader perspective from an outside perspective uh, the decision makers need to understand and there has to be more preparation to be honest you know we keep mentioning lack of preparation and travel but it has to have began begun from somewhere so we have to understand that these are the little things that may go a long way if we the ultimate aim is to play the world cup you have to build a stronghold or a strong foot into asia first the nation games is one of the biggest tournaments then there's the asian cup as well that's coming next year uh, that's the build up to it but step by step everyone plays their part we play our part by talking about it the federation plays their part by making sure everything's right and the clubs also play their part because club football is a big part of playing for the national team that is where you're seen today we speak of sunil chetri gurpreet singh amrinder the younger boys being dheeraj from starting from a goalkeeper to anwar ali starting from center back so i can keep going with the younger names as well so everybody plays their part and isl has played their part as well but the journey is still there we still have to go a long way we have to i want to see india play at the world cup i'm their biggest fan so how long and how far do you think that we go the asian games how do you see the next two games coming because i heard you guys in the comms again and saying that you know the fact that the comms are demanding and all the fans on twitter and social media going, going like make changes make changes by the time the fourth goal was conceded and then the fifth one was is because we've got two more important games coming and we great to have all the players the kind of game time so those kind of problems that were seen in the end and how do you see the next two games coming in i think uh, you know let's begin from social media the, they wanted changes because everybody is looking at it from not just one game we have three games which is fair uh the two teams in front of us are Myanmar and Bangladesh both the teams haven't beaten us till now let's just say in the last five meetings itself um so you got to look at those games and say all right we we've, we've lost the game let's let's look at the other two games and that's the that's the right way to go but that being said when you're on that pitch as an athlete you want to give everything for 90 plus minutes and you will keep playing till your last breath and I'm, and the and the performance from the boys last night was exactly that be it 7 minutes or 70 minutes whoever came on wanted to play and make be the difference maker so yeah. now that the game is over i know the medical team of the indian team as well they're one of the best in the country itself they will be doing their work as we speak and making sure that the boys are ready for the next two games coming up and I, again i'm i'm very confident against bangladesh in the previous eight meetings we've got four wins and four draws with six goals a game it's going to be a game to definitely get your goals in there and get your confidence up there but secondly there are boys who are joining as well you got to remember that there were the, the squad wasn't available the full squad because of travel constraint wasn't available to be picked from so we might see some changes fresh legs and a few goals as well nice how deep do you think we'll go in the tournament first we get through the group stages i believe in step by step processes so we get through the group and one step at a time knockout again is a game that demands to leave everything on the pitch and keep winning games and keep going as far as you can it is the asian games go yeah. in medals you know robin how we see it as fans is that there are certain constraints in indian football that it is that uh, that restricts it from going all out or blooming in all its glory um what would you do different in terms of football in making it more accessible but i think the the accessibility again when i say transition takes time there's been growth uh 
if i can put it in a simpler way when i started playing football i had to go to win a half hours away to play for a 20 minute game now boys have the accessibility with private companies even clubs having grassroots programs the that's that's what i meant also when i said the isl has played its part because there is a structure in place that every every club needs to have grassroots programs every every team needs to be involved in the upliftment or growth of indian football so the growth's been there so when you say what needs to be improved i think we're on the right path we are in the 100 top 100 in the world yes 100 is a big number but we are there we have to keep growing and that growth will keep coming so from two hours away for 20 minutes now i can get a game anywhere and the boys that are coming up now have more accessibility to grounds more accessibility to the internet to find training regimes to read on training regimes now it's not a 6 or a 9 month season it's a 365 day process of being involved in your in your own self to grow individually and then help the clubs with what you bring to the table right. but if i can the opportunity to tell the youth something is believe in what you bring to the table trust the process trust yourself and straight to to your dreams if they scare you they they are the right dreams um well coming back to the asian games uh is there a certain player now i know it's a team game before you say that you know it's a team game so no there's no player to watch out for for me but if there is a certain player that you i got your eyes on and for whom this is a great pedestal to launch himself and has the potential for it who is that player I think uh, if I'm being honest this is the under 23 team um every player on that squad has the right to fight for their spot onto the Indian senior national team there are boys in this team that are also a part of club football and the Indian senior team if you're a substitute this is your chance and because there is no chance there is no point of me saying there's only one player the under 23 has the chance to give Igor Stimak a headache and say I want to be on the senior team I want to be the one to replace your left wing your right wing your first choice I want to be your first choice do that that's that's imperative for growth you need to ask the coach questions you need to ask the right questions or have the coach question can I bring him to the senior team that's exactly all what the boys want to do gurmeet's put a stamp there now he's got the likes of gurpreet amrinder dheeraj parba all these boys to compete with and saying hey i'm here you see what i can do i'm going to fight for that spot and if you're not fighting for the number one spot don't fight just don't fight always always believe in what you bring to the table wait damn sweet now coming to igor stimak i know you know him from close quarters what kind of a guy is confident that's number one uh and he is very straight and up to the point he he will tell you what he wants and he will demand it from you just like his staff as well his staff knows what Igor Stimak wants and the one thing that i've learned through my journey is when there is a spearhead leading the team or the squad you get results and that's exactly what we can see with Igor Stimak he's not afraid to put his opinion out there he knows what he wants and that is why we're seeing results if you're not performing for him for him he doesn't want you there and i know that for a fact <laughs> he doesn't want you there if you're not doing the job for him he does it and he said it himself as well you work hard i will give you an opportunity there is uh there's there's a uh, i think if i've got the name right it's asfar who's come from kankre fc into the national under 23 squad right now so be it the i league be it the isl you perform he will call you nice and that's exactly what you would want from a coach that your club doesn't matter your name doesn't matter your performance matters you perform i will call you well sounds like a great guy i've never had the opportunity to meet him in person but of course of what i've seen and how he's transformed into football and uh, how he's so he's got so much clarity of thought and the kind of demands that he wants from the team the management the organization i love it that's that's what i meant he when you have a clear thought process and you are spearheading your ideas with actions as well you yeah. get results when people start believing in in what you want you again get results So now the whole the football federation knows what Igor Stimak wants the boys know what the coach wants and that is why you're getting results because they all believe in what Igor Stimak is trying to bring to the table yeah. when you start getting results it's an addiction 
it Correct. is it is it is something that you want every single day and then when there is someone demanding it from you every single day it's lots of fun it's hard work but you have a laugh along the way and you make memories for life we've seen him on the sidelines so many times he's got thrown out or just sent off because he's involved in the process he's emotionally invested into indian football the fans know that the fans are behind him so that just speaks volumes yeah completely agree and i hope that he takes indian football to new horizons and horizons that are unseen by the country so far okay so that was that india and the asian games we've just lost against china but here's hoping the next two games go our way and uh, we do well at the asian games now this is also an opportunity where we also get to you know really get to know robin singh a little better especially for our viewers who are watching so i'm just going to ask you a couple of you know we, we're so creative we're going to do a rapid fire Something that you know. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> never, never. All right. Just trying to find my. Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's see go where, what comes. All right. First of all, what is the kind of music Robin Singh likes? Hip hop, Punjabi, hip hop from the UK, and yeah, probably a few heartbreak songs as well. Just throw them in there for the mix. All right. Well, uh, what has been the best year of your life so far? There was one. I think. Uh, getting married and my son being born are oh. up there like together that's that's very sweet that is really sweet what has been the highlight of your career from my first professional contract to scoring for east bengal in the derbies to wearing that national team jersey which coincidentally is the team that the women's team plays tomorrow that was the team i made my debut with oh, really? taipei oh cool all right So, what's your favorite cuisine? Japanese. Oh, too shit. Are you a mountain guy or a beach guy? Beach. Beach guy. No I didn't go. I didn't even go. I think that that was easy. Yeah. No, but then not a lot of people know this about you that you live in Goa. I know that, but not a lot of people would know that. Yeah. Yeah. Beach I'm guy. Hundred percent. Like as 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 what people know me of. Uh, I love calmness. All right. So, a tux or NBA street style? Ooh. Every day, street style. But never say no to a good suit. Yeah, it makes you look really good at the Asian Games. So you carry on that good job that you've been doing. And oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, last question: One change that you'd like to see in the world, or do one change I'd like. One change I'd like to see in the world was that the question. That's the question. Um, I think love and empathy. We we're kind of losing that bit of not watching what we say to other people, especially behind a keyboard. Well, I'm saying the right things. I hope so because I'm behind a keyboard right now. Ah, uh, I mean, I think it's for me just love. It's it's the strongest thing in the world. Everything doesn't require a fight. Damn sweet. Well, thank you so much, Robin, for joining me and doing this. I know you're doing all your preparations for tomorrow and for the Asian Games. But thank you for finding the time. Also, here's wishing Indian football all the best for the tournament. Thank you for having me. We hopefully we'll see wins in.